What is going on everybody? I am back. Finally feels good to be back. If you didn't see my recent post here on YouTube, I don't know how many people actually see those, but I made a post basically saying that videos are going to be uh, very hit and miss this next month because work is absolutely killing me. We are on 55 hour work weeks right now, which I know some of you out there probably work more than that, but that's a lot for me. And it really cuts into uh, video time considering it's dark when I get off of work. So very happy to be back. Wanted to give you that update right off the bat so you guys know. Today we're just going to have some fun with it. It's been about a week since I've thrown a disc, which if you can imagine is kind of a long time for me. We are here at the Kettering Rec Center today. I got my full bag, no funny business, just me, my disc and a great time. We're probably gonna play the front nine or maybe a couple more than the front nine. Hole one isn't actually here even. I'm just gonna throw a couple warm up shots. Get the body loose, you know. You know, I kind of hate not uploading at least two or three times a week. That's usually what I like to hit on full length videos. I hate being away from YouTube. I hate being away from playing disc golf really just because I love to do it so much but the biggest thing is I get scared you know being a small content creator and trying to make it in the content world I get scared that I'm gonna lose all of my momentum that I've worked so hard to gain it is a tough world on YouTube considering YouTube really doesn't give a crap about me I mean if I am not present on the app then I will be forgotten about very quickly. And my face is not gonna be pushed out to you guys as much as I would like it to be. But, but that's just kind of why I hate being away from uh, making videos. Hole one for us, 236 feet. Nice simple forehand with the zone. A little six time zone here. See if I warm up the hands a little bit. Good heavens. <sighs> oh, I just got this beautiful pinkish zone here. Jawbreaker. There we go. That could go in the basket. Oh, it's long of it. Also, I recently got these new putters and they're just classic wardens. I gotta be honest, I put them with them a couple of rounds now and I don't know if I like them, especially in the colder weather. They are very hard, rock solid. Usually I get classic blend burst, which is a bit softer. And once it beats in, it's even softer. And these things, you know, they felt good in the store. Then I got them outside. And I'm like, these are like rock solid. Oh, go in. I'm like 45. If they would go in the basket, then I'd consider keeping them, but they can't even do that. Jawbreaker zones just go a little bit too far. <laughs> oh, spun it in there. Hole two here for us is 265 feet. I'm actually zoomed in on the basket, but it's really hard to see. I usually like going forehand here, so we're gonna go with the Nate Sexton Firebird. Hit the gap on the left side and hope we get a good skip to the right. Just to get through these trees is a bit difficult, but if you can get through them, you should get a good skip. Yes, that's so good. If it has the distance, there's the skip. Let me know down in the comments, now that we're getting into the colder season, are you guys still playing disc golf? Do you play in the snow? That's my real question here, actually. Once it starts snowing, are you out there still grinding, still playing disc golf? I have before. It's terrifying because you feel like you're going to lose a disc on every single hole, but it usually works out. It's coming up a little bit short, but you know, nothing my new putters can't handle, really. Twice or it's luck. Three times or it's three times and it's awesome. That's what that is. My game has actually been feeling kind of bad in the recent times that I've played. I felt like I was awful. I couldn't putt, I couldn't drive. Backhands were going everywhere. I'm working on my form still on my backhands, which is what I'm blaming my bad backhand shots on. I can't hit a line right now. Hopefully that gets better. That is my big off season grind. All three, 250 feet. This is really just a nice, buzz right down the middle. One thing I hate the most about playing in the morning is dewy grass leading to wet discs. I hate wiping off my discs. I hate it. Oh. That is gonna work. I call that the local route, actually. Let's try again with a little envy. Oh, just a little higher. Hit the line that time. This is what happens when you take local routes. You got like a 20 footer. Oh yeah, must be the new putters. Definitely the new putters. Hole four is up and to the right there, 262 feet. This is really just a time to shine with the zone. We'll go with the ESP zone first. 
Oh, that is not down the middle. Heiser, no. That might do it. There we go. Dropped it in there for one. Hole five here, 240 feet. Oh, yeah. Yank City, man. We got hole seven, par three, 301 feet through this tunnel. Best hole at the wreck, hardest hole at the wreck, I would say. It actually just makes you throw a good line. Some of the other ones, you still have to throw good lines in the woods, but this one's like a legitimate good line, I feel like. Boom. It must be a leopard three. There we go. Get off that tree. Yeah, that's down there at least. Woo, that was buttery. It's always a leopard three, man. If you're not bagging a leopard three, what are you doing? This would be just as bad as if you weren't bagging a zone. Think about your life decisions if you don't have either of those in your bag. Just play this leopard three shot. Makes us look better than we actually are. Okay, no, no it doesn't. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Turns out that these new putters, they're actually broken. I said that in the beginning of the video. Then I got my hopes up because they were doing good. My hopes are back down. See, I think the most difficult thing right now with the whole backhand form change is I know how poorly I'm throwing the disc right now, which makes me so bad want to just throw how I would normally throw. And maybe it wouldn't look that much different on camera, but for me, it would feel that much better. I know I would probably be throwing it further and a little bit more consistent on the lines, but that isn't really gonna make me better in the long run. So. We're gonna try to stick with this right now. Basically the form changes that I'm going through or trying to do is I'm really trying to push off the back leg. And secondly, just as important is, you know, my old form, I'd basically walk out like this with a straight arm the whole time. So I'm trying to kind of keep it more at 90, reaching back, straight back, straight back, instead of, you know, I kind of do this the whole time. I kind of walk up like this. So. Try to keep that more into the body at 90. And then when I'm ready to reach back, all it has to do is go back. Super difficult. It doesn't seem that difficult, but it is. And it comes out on hyzer. Good skip, but that's gonna be awfully short. Well, I got a good flight out of that one. I really think if I start like this, I'll have better results. I mean, that's better results than my first one. And it was so simple. Just two steps instead of a full run up. We're actually gonna stick to that simple run up here on hole nine. I'm gonna start right here, just do my X step. Oh, that's a great shot. <laughs> Came up short, but. Just for that little bit, pretty good shot. Let's see if we can get more of this off arm action going. <sighs> no. See, I used more of my arm, I felt like, on that one. And I was very bent over my front foot. All right, hole 10, I think this would be for us. Not really sure how far it is. 275 is what this T sign says. I don't know if that's accurate or not. We got Athena in hand. Probably make this the last hole of the video. Let's see if we can put this thing close. <clears throat> yeah, it's just so early. Everything I threw today was early, so that's something I'm gonna have to work on. <clears throat> early again. Good thing it's the off season. Don't have to be all that great right now. <clears throat> I did it? Oh my goodness. Oh, that first one was so insanely close. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Kind of some random content for you today. Good to be back behind the camera or in front of the camera, I guess. Good to be making some videos today. Not so good on the playing part, though. We're gonna have to work on that. Thank goodness it's the off season. We're here to grind, to try to make the form better. And all in all, hopefully we just become a better player in general. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.